Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Photo Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna talk about today is the big unknown right now inside of FIFA 22. What is gonna be coming next? It is a Wednesday, that means we are midway through the week and these Adidas promo cards are only in this game for two more days before Friday when they will go out of packs. We're in a very peculiar situation because we are one week before Black Friday. Next Friday is gonna be the big Black Friday weekend. It's a whole weekend now with packs, with panic, and all sorts of stuff on this game. And as of right now, the content is still so very quiet and we're in this Adidas numbers up promo that is, you know, very pulled back, right? And we've been talking about this all week and you guys realize it. It feels very quiet on this game right now, but I think that is just preparing for the big Black Friday when everything's gonna get crazy again with packs, promo stuff, it's gonna go crazy. But what is EA gonna do in this next week? And I wanna try to talk about that a little bit today as well as a big day on Wednesday. I wanna talk about the market because Wednesdays into Thursday is always a huge day for the market with rivals rewards, with a brand new team of the week featuring potentially Mbappe. An Mbappe team of the week card could be dropping today on Wednesday in this game. So I wanna talk about all of that. Could we see a loading screen today? Because if you guys remember, literally one week ago, we were in the second week of the Rule Breakers promo and on Wednesday of last week, they dropped us the Adidas promo loading screen. So one of the things that we could be on the lookout for today is if they are gonna do like a one week promo, which is maybe something they could do to lead us into Black Friday, we could see a loading screen for whatever the next promo could be today on Wednesday, maybe tomorrow on Thursday as well. So I wanna talk about all of that today and the market as well because the market is still in a very interesting place. Some of these Adidas cards have actually dropped a lot in price because of an SBC that we had yesterday. So we'll talk about some market inside of this video as well. But the big question is, what is EA going to do when this numbers up promo ends? What is EA, since this is, as we know, right, as it says here, 11 special Adidas items are in, available for two more days. If it said team one, we would be under the impression that there would be a second week of Adidas numbers up. And as this looks, it honestly doesn't look like there's gonna be a team two. Now, if EA surprised us with a team two of Adidas numbers up, which could be possible, doesn't seem likely, but could be possible, that could take us through next week. But honestly, what I'm starting to feel, unless we get a loading screen today with a promo that we're not expecting, it might be our first non-promo Friday on FIFA 22. And I know some people would be like, man, this is boring, but I think there'd be some ways where EA could spice it up a little bit. Let's talk theoretically here for a second. I just saw this tweet before I started recording this video, and I think this tweet summarizes what I think Friday and this weekend could look like on this game very well. This is stuff that I've talked about before as well. I think there's going to be another icon or hero SBC release on this game before Black Friday, and that could even be the content this Friday, right? A lot of us in the game would probably not enjoy that. It would seem kind of dead, but they, they, I think that EA is going to do this. I would not be surprised if they dropped a, another icon or hero to basically make SBC fodder explode, drain a bunch of coins before, again, they want you to spend FIFA points during the Black Friday promo. I also just don't know what kind of promo is going to fit into this week. Some people are talking about foot freeze. I really don't think that foot freeze or cards like this are going to be in this game until December. I still feel like we're a month away. Like Foot Freeze is a December promo. I, I don't think that it's going to be coming this early before Black Friday. I would be very, very surprised if we saw Foot Freeze cards. But I'm seeing some people talk about Freeze, not seeing it. I mean, to be completely honest, one of the things that we don't know about yet are heroes and icons, right? Hero upgrades. They said here there are there may be additional versions made available as part of select Foot 22 campaigns and programs. In case you missed it, you can see their ratings here. So Foot Heroes, which I believe we're not going to get any new Foot Heroes. All 19, it says. So all 19 means all of them. But at some point, it sounds like there's going to be upgrades, additional versions made available. So maybe it's at some point, whether it is during Black Friday or whether it is maybe even this Friday, I think they're going to upgrade Heroes at some point. I feel like it's still a little bit early for that in terms of how EA likes to upgrade things, but that's still something we don't know about. Prime icons and icon swaps are stuff that we still don't know about as well. What if this Friday, they dropped a base icon upgrade SBC, a hero upgrade SBC, and icon swaps? That would be crazy. Now it says, stay tuned for more info on the icon program this year, 
but we have no information about icon swaps, even though they are confirmed. We also don't know when the prime cards are gonna be coming into packs. It just says the base and mid versions will be available in foot from launch with the subsequent versions made available throughout the year. Can you please tell us when? So I don't know, man, there's a lot of unknowns. And of course, it's really easy to start theorizing what could be coming out this Friday. I'm just gonna stay, say this. I expect another big SBC or two before Black Friday because EA have always done this. They try to suck a lot of coins off the market and drain a lot of people's accounts before we do get to that Black Friday promo. So that is like the number one thing that I would say is like guaranteed in a sense. Just keep an eye out though for today on the game. If we do see a loading screen, again, anytime between like six and 10 p.m. UK, they drop loading screens Wednesdays or Thursdays to lead up to a potentially new promo. So just keep an eye out for that and see what, uh, if, if anything, uh, comes out today on a Wednesday. If that is, if, if nothing comes out and that is still the case, we are still going to be kind of confused and just wondering what is next. Then we will continue on with that. And I think what is going to also come with that is a lot of people still staying very positive and very strong with this market. And I'll talk about that in a little bit, but let's go on to today, right? Let's go on to today. What's going to be happening today on Wednesday inside of FIFA 22? Well, obviously, Wednesdays, as we know it, are always the day where the market starts to drop off, right? As we've talked about in yesterday's video as well, prices even went a little bit higher yesterday uh, on this market on some cards, especially in the Serie A, right? I bought all these Kulusevskis down to like 36,000 coins. It's only small profits, but it's at least making some coins right now in this game when the market just continues to go higher and your margins are very small and there's not a ton of movement except for just fluctuations. You know, you take profit like this, you take some flips like this. So, I mean, the market is continuing to be up. If you look at a lot of cards out on the game right now, unless it was affected by pack supply yesterday, like the Adidas cards were actually uh, down in price because of pack supply. Uh, if it was a affected by pack supply, it was down. But a lot of your other out of packs in forums, you know, some of your road to the knockout players, as I'm looking at their prices right now at the moment, uh, Hyunmin Sun, Road to the knockout, 790K. That is up. Tonali, of course, is up a lot because of the SBC that was dropped yesterday. Hamari Traore continues to rise. We take a look at rule breakers as well. Holland, 550. He is up, right? Uh, you know, Trent, 180. That is higher than normal. Diaby is up. Now, there's a bit, there's been a little bit of TikTok investing going on with the Diaby and with the Mukiele, if you saw their prices yesterday. Foden, 404. Cassie's up a lot with Syria hype. Uh, Klosterman's 192K. Like, look at, this guy was 130K last week. Absolutely crazy to see this stuff continually going higher on this game. I do think that changes a little bit today on Wednesday. Now, a lot of the hype today on Wednesday is coming in with this guy right here. Mbappe team of the week is expected to be released today. Now team of the week nine is since it is going to be an international team of the week um, or an inter international break team of the week. These performances are all co coming from the players that played well over international break. They will not have dynamic images. So three big names are supposed to be in this team of the week. Mbappe, Harry Kane, and Lewandowski, right? Even Marco Royce, that's a pretty big name. Christian or Kuti Romero might even be in this team of the week. That'd be insane. If he got another team elite card, his 84 is already really good in this game. Is Malia Sar a potential second in form? So I'm very curious to see who gets into the team elite today. Ooh, Zach Steffen, give me that card. That'd be pretty dope. Uh, a Mitrovic hero card for, for the game against Portugal, of course. That could be crazy. Uh, sorry, Portu Portugal fans, uh, for that one. But today, the Lewandowski, Kane, Mbappe, but specifically the Mbappe, are expected to grace this game. So it'll be a very interesting team of the week number nine and to see what happens there. Now you're already seeing some market movements because of that. Mbappe's card is up. With this market being very high, this Mbappe has actually gone higher. I think people have bought this card because they're expecting it to go out of packs, which is a pretty good expectation. Now, if you're wanting to buy this card during the Black Friday timeframe, don't be worried because I do think that there will be panic selling still on the whole entire market. I know it's like, Nate, when's this panic selling going to start? Because it hasn't happened yet and we're getting closer and closer to Black Friday. Trust me, it will come. It is not far away. This weekend is going to be the start of it, if not sooner, depending on what happens in the next day or two on this game. But this Mbappe is getting bought up because he's going to be going out of packs. Well, of course, with Black Friday coming, I would not be buying up this card. Yes, if Mbappe does get a team elite today, you'll, you'll probably see his card stay around the same price, not go too much higher than like 1.45, I would imagine. 
Um, but if Mbappe were to somehow not get a team of the week, that would be very fishy, number one. And number two, uh, this card would probably drop down like 50, 60,000 coins or more because then people are going to be like, oh no, Mbappe is going to be in packs for Black Friday if he doesn't have a team of the week. Uh, or you know something like that so they would really sell off this card so watch out for that card even harry kane and Lewandowski people have been buying up their golds of course harry kane a very popular uh 90 rated is he 90 rated card pretty he's like 90 rated for svc fodder that's why this this guy is very popular in this game right Forty six thousand coins so that is up a little bit uh now that is down some from where he was um, but just keep an eye on that if you're invested for out of packs. But that's like the big content for today on Wednesday. The brand new team of the week with Mbappe. See who they put in. International team of the weeks are usually pretty interesting, right? You think back to the last international team of the week was Team of the Week 4. Uh, and, you know, it was a solid team. Now, of course, a lot of people lost coins on that team because of the supply that was on it. But it's just something to be noted that it was a very popular team of the week. Now, let's take a look at the rest of this market into today on Wednesday. As we've always talked about, as we've always talked about on this game, Wednesdays are down days for the market 99% of the time. You might see a few cards bounce back up, but specifically with these numbers up cards, a lot of eyes are on these items uh, basically today on Wednesday and into the rewards time frame. These cards are going to get supplied again with weekly rewards and they are down. I'm going to show you some prices right now and talk to you about why this happened. But a lot of these prices are down from yesterday because of one simple little pack supply SBC that EA dropped. I mean, this just goes to show you how it's still, I think these cards are overpriced on this market right now and how yesterday, I guess nobody wanted to buy them because they literally just dropped down off of a single SBC pack that was released uh, in the store. Te check this out, 72,000 coins for Regulon. He went down 10,000 coins. He was actually 61K before bouncing back up a little bit. Uh, Di Maria was 350,000 coins yesterday on Tuesday before the SBC dropped. 350, boom, all the way down to 299. Right now he's about 307. Jota went from like 520 all the way to 475. Felix was down like 50,000 coins. Militao is back up a bit, but he was down at 410. And literally all of these prices on these cards dropped because of this one tradable pack supply SBC that we had, the Adidas Predator. SBC, which actually, if you look at this, I even started to try to do it myself. This is difficult. 80 rated squad, 90 chemistry, five rare players. This was the only tradable packs that we had yesterday released on this game. We also had tradable packs for the Insigne, I believe. Are these tradable? Yeah, small prime gold players pack and a prime Electrum. So I think a lot of people also did Insigne yesterday, even though if you look at this card, he is getting the pace boost. He only has plus one upgrades. It's like a 37 in-game stat difference from his gold card, which some people are not very fond of, and people are not liking that SBC because of it. But also a lot of people like this SBC because he's a very meta type card, high medium, four star, four star, very high agility, very high balance. He's got the good traits, right? And he has pace and his pace is going to get upgraded. So this SBC is coming in at around 100,000 coins. And I think that is why you saw a bit of the market drop off yesterday on those impacts cards like the numbers up cards, the whole team basically, because when you look at this Insigne SBC, I think a lot of people are doing this and that pack supply from his SBC and the pack supply pack that we had yesterday, 3,300 upvotes for Insigne at 100,000 coins. Uh, again, a very small upgrade over his 86 rated gold, but the pace upgrade over 90. And then knowing that this Insigne is gonna eventually be 96 pace in the middle to end of December has a lot of people interested in this card. People are saying that this is now the best new left wing in the Serie A above El Shah. I don't disagree, but I also think that EA was very smart with this SBC because I think this SBC is coming at a time where a lot of people actually have extra fodder in their clubs from doing the 82 plus uh, upgrades, of course, like the 82 plus passing, pace, and dribbling upgrades. People have been smashing these the past couple days, and I think that they're just looking for another SBC to craft, and this Insigne was plopped in our laps today, and it actually looks okay. It's decent, right? It's the best content that we've had so far, this promo in my opinion. So I think people are doing this SBC because there's literally nothing else to do, right? So that's my opinion on the Insigne. It's not a bad card. Um, I just, I'm saving my fodder, right? Some people are doing Salah right now as well. And I mean, if you have a lot of fodder from doing some of those packs, which I do, I'm holding, man. I'm really holding because I think 
there's going to be some SBCs that come out during Black Friday. Maybe it's an icon upgrade SBC, whether it is more player SBCs. We're going to have two more player of the months coming soon, League One and Bundesliga probably tomorrow. Bundesliga tomorrow on, on Thursday. There's going to be a few more SBCs and undoubtedly more SBC players coming out over the next week or two as well. I'm kind of holding some of that fodder because that Insigne is nice, but unless I run a Serie A team and I plan on running a Serie A team for a while, I don't want to put that card in my team as of right now. But of course, the whole market was affected. If you take a look at some of these prices that went up because of Insigne, Rule Breakers, Cassie, right? Basically, Serie A stuff absolutely banged yesterday. Rule Breakers, Cassie was 150 5,000 coins yesterday before the SBC dropped. Right now he's sitting at 180. He was as high as 190K. Take a look at Road to the Knockouts, Tonali, right? The most meta cards that people are going to be linking to that brand new Insigne card. Tonali was like, I think 65K or 70,000 coins yesterday. And right now he's 90, 90,000 coins on this market. So Serie A stuff is booming right now. Other left wings were hurt in price a little bit. If you take a look at like Bamba's card, um, Bamba got hurt in price a little bit. He's not down much, uh, but he was about a hundred and I think 20,000 coins and he's currently about 110. So he's down a little bit as people found maybe a replacement option for their left mids and left wings in this game. But again, the market as a whole continues to be pretty high. Now, I do expect prices to drop today on Wednesday. I don't know what kind of content that we are going to get, but what I'm going to be really watching for are these Adidas cards. I'm going to be watching these Adidas cards, um, some of the higher tier ones specifically, because if the content, if there's no loading screen and if the content stays like it's been over the past few days, if it stays pretty lackluster, then I'm going to look for these cards. If there's a big drop off heading into rewards on gold cards, on these uh, Adidas items, these are still the brand new cards that are in this game that people want to try out in their weekend league squads when they're when they're playing this weekend. So I'm going to keep an eye on a few of these, uh, especially the, again, some of the top tier ones like Jota, Felix, Militao, and, and some of these cards that aren't going to get packed that much. A lot of people are going to be worried about these items getting packed a lot at Division Rivals Rewards. And I don't think that's the case because again, Rivals Rewards are just not as good. Rivals Rewards give out more coins, right? Especially if you're taking option two from those rewards, most people are just getting coins and untradeable packs and they're not necessarily taking the tradable, uh, or sorry, untradeable packs and coins. They're not necessarily taking the tradable packs option as a part of these um, getting supplied on the market. So I do think that if you see a big drop off on these Adidas numbers up car cards, or if you just see a big drop off on some of your really meta golds, right? Again, we saw it last week on Thursday, huge, huge rise last week because there was so much selling last week on this market before rewards on Wednesday into Thursday. If any of that happens again today, watch your gold cards, you expect specifically some of your higher tier ones, higher rated ones that aren't going to get packed that much from the little bit of tradable supply that will be dropped on the market today. So Hakimi, right? Yorente, Ferland Mendy, Hyunmin Sun, Varane, Pogba, I would say even Van Dyke, uh, Marquinhos, um, Teo Hernandez with the Serie A links, Mane, uh, Bruno Fernandez, maybe even De Young. Those are all examples of cards that I would keep a very close eye on today on this market heading into the evening time today on Wednesday. Right again, is there going to be any panic selling today? I don't. I wouldn't expect a lot of panic selling. I just only would expect to see maybe a few drops on this market, depending on the content that EA drop. Now, I'm involved on a very major icon flip right now at the moment. I bought myself a mid Mateus at 2.15 fresh. I'm trying to get this out over 2.3 million coins. That'd be a very nice profit. I just wanted to dip into the high tier icon market. I saw an opportunity, thought I would pull the trigger on the card and probably... Um, with not having a ton of time to sit down and chemistry style trade and try to make those little quick flips, right? I made a bunch of little quick flips yesterday on stream, but I wanted to try to make like a big chunk of profit, right? These cool sets use like 2k a card, Esox like 2k a card. A lot of these chem style flips were like two, three, four thousand coins per card. I wanted to make a big chunk flip so I can get this out over 2.3 overnight, hopefully, especially as it is a fresh item. That should get me a nice, hopefully 50, 60K after tax if I can sell it where I have it listed. Maybe even more than that if I get a little bit lucky. So that's kind of what I'm doing, but I'm hoping to get my coins ready for tomorrow night. Basically, actually tonight and early tomorrow morning, 
uh, like Thursday morning with Rivals Rewards. I'm going to try to get ready for that time frame, and I really just think it's going to be another slow day on FIFA. I don't expect to see more preview packs. It seems like this is one of those weeks where EA is like not releasing any preview pack content uh, because we have not had any uh, at all. So if there were preview packs though today, that would make things a bit interesting for the Adidas cards and also the brand new team of the week. Watch out for that. That'd be the only thing that could make things interesting today is if they did do preview packs. But since it's been so quiet through this week, I think that's going to continue uh, into the rest of this week as well. One last thing I want to talk about SBC fodder just right quick at the end of this video. I feel like I always save talking about SBC fodder for the end. I think that's because I'm not a big SBC fodder investor. But today might be an opportunity if you do think that there's no loading screen coming, no promo coming this Friday. And if you think they're going to drop a big icon SBC before we get to Black Friday next Friday, keep, a, keep an eye on some of these 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90 rated cards before the rewards time frame. If we get any sort of pack supply today on Wednesday before rewards, I would take a look at some of these cards. You know, 88s have dropped a little bit. Lukaku, 24,000 coins. I believe even earlier yesterday, he was like 23,000 coins. If these cards, if you can get them on bid, especially in the lower 20s, I think that's not a bad idea. 86s and up, in my opinion, would be the place to go for some SBC fodder. If we get some supply today, uh, it, fodder might go up a little bit after rewards as people are maybe doing the Salah, people are doing the crafting of the upgrades and need to buy a few more players to finish off either Insigne, maybe even David Beckham. If some people are doing that just for, for the vibes of the David Beckham card, of course, or of course the, um, the Muhammad Salah player of the month. So that's kind of what's going on right now. We're just in the waiting stage, right? We are, it just feels like we're in the waiting stage. I'm trying to get some games in, uh, while we are in the stage, I did finish the Bergwine objective. So we got the main man in the club. And with a few more upgrade packs, we have packed Pugba and we have packed Kingsley Coleman. So a couple new cards added to the squad. Shout out to some upgrade pack luck right there. So that's the current look of the team as well. We're gonna be upgrading that soon. Need to upgrade the defense very, very badly. But again, it's probably gonna be more gameplay for me as well as I need to get my reward upgrade locked in. Two more wins for that. Then we go into foot champs qualification, which we are very close uh, after last week's eight win experience, right? For champions is definitely an experience on this game. So keep an eye on the market today. It's going to get very interesting, even though these cards have dropped a little bit, the Adidas cards, the rest of the market is still very high. Another opportunity, in my opinion, to maybe take, if you're looking long-term, if you want to sell before we have any sort of panic on your gold cards or on stuff like that. I think that, you know, this weekend, especially after this weekend, it, it's going to start to go down and you are going to start to see panic. So again, we're still in that time period where I would recommend you could be taking the cash on some of this stuff. And at any point that he would release a big SBC, like a big hero or icon upgrade, that can make things especially drop off a lot. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>